Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my Manchester United vs Wolfsburg review. Now, the reason this is a bit late is because I did go to see KSI live uh, in Newcastle. So this is the first match I've missed for Manchester United that I haven't seen live in about two years. But I've got BT Sports, so I watched the entire match over, and I thought I'd do my review anyway, so I don't miss one of these. So yeah... It started off, and yeah, the worst possible start. Wolfsburg with some great interlinking play. Uh, I forgot the scorer's name, honestly. I apologise, but Cruz for uh, uh, Wolfsburg doing some real work. Draxler as well, causing a lot of problems, but it's a nice little interchange. And our defence is left wide open because Valencia keeps the guy on side, and he can get in behind, and it's just a simple tap-in. There's nothing really De Gea could have done. Um... <clears throat> And yeah, we're 1-0 down. Terrible start, and it wasn't looking good for English teams, to be honest. Like, <laughs> City were losing, obviously Arsenal lost, Manchester, sorry, Chelsea lost as well. So at that point, you know, it was a bit worrying. But credit to us, we did actually look a lot better after that, alright? And I agree with the commentator, and like, I don't agree with a lot of what he said, but I agree with him in the fact that we play exciting football when we play with a fast tempo, all right? We've got the players to do that, all right? Memphis and Martial are really, really quick, and they can cause some problems. And then our passing, when it's quick, slick, etc., and we know what we're doing, we look a lot better. And we did do that. We created a lot of chances. And I'd say that the first big one fell to um, Wayne Rooney, and it's Martial, all right? He was brilliant. He, he beat one or two players, all right? A lovely ball. It's literally set up on a plate for Rooney. He could take a touch. He's got so much space, and he blasts it over. Um, yeah, you could tell he was, like, distraught with it, as rightly he should be, because it was such brilliant work by Martial, and he couldn't finish it. And then shortly after that, Juan Mata, who was definitely man of the match, he hardly put a foot wrong in this game his first touch was so good consistently and yeah it's a lovely through ball I think it's uh, Bastien who finds Mata and then Mata has got space he sees the run of Memphis running in behind the Wolfsburg defence this poor marking by their right back and he hits it but he can't get the power on and it's straight at the keeper so at that point we'd missed two big chances it could have been 2-1 but it was still 1-0 Wolfsburg and um, it took well, again, more. Well, it's not really brilliant, but um, it, it's good work by Mata, and he crosses it in, and it's a blatant handball. It hits someone's handball. The goal scorers, I've completely forgot his name. I do apologise, but yeah, um, it's blatant handball. Mata steps up, and he calmly slots it into the left. Like most people thought, Rooney would take it, but Mata took it, and he scored. So nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And then after that, we did look more dominant, but Wolfsburg really did look dangerous on the counter-attack. As I say, Draxler and Kroos were fantastic in this game. For us, Sveinsteiger had a decent game. Um, Martial and Mata by far though, were our best, same as Chris Smalling. He was immense. If he can keep up this sort of form, then I've got really, really high hopes for him in the future. Like, honestly, he could be a, a Manchester United legend if... He can keep consistent and keep fit. There was a little injury scare later on, but he, he seemed to walk it off. He seemed all right. But, um, <coughs> sorry, the referee was dishing out yellow cards for absolutely nothing. Schneidlin got one, and uh, I know the Wolfsburg manager was annoyed that he wasn't sent off at the end of the game, but I think later on in the game when there was another challenge, I don't think... Like, because the first one definitely wasn't a yellow, I mean, he barely touched him. So, yeah, I think that's fair enough. Him only getting a yellow. But anyway, we start the second half and, yeah, we get another chance. And this is just absolutely unreal, all right? I'm not trying to piss Arsenal fans off, all right? But you know how they are when it comes to Mesut Ozil, when he does something, all right? If this had been Mesut Ozil who'd flicked this, all right, we would have never heard the end of it. And he'd have had a statue at the Emirates by now, all right? I'm not having a call or whatever. You just, you know how much they love Ozil. But anyway, this is such a good assist. And it comes out of matter, and he flicks it over his head. And Smalling's just on site. He manages to latch onto it. And it's a nice finish, to be honest, into the bottom right. All of a sudden, we've t turned the tables. We're winning 2-1. And after that, 
there wasn't really too many huge chances. I mean, Wolfsburg had a few. Uh, Bentner was subbed on. He uh, mishit it. Dante shot at goal. And uh, luckily, we managed to deflect it. I think Rooney cleared it. Um, Rodriguez had a, f uh, a free kick towards the end. Ricardo Rodriguez. And he missed it. But aside from that, it's a good result. And like I predicted prior to this game, I said that uh, after we'd lost against PSV, I reckon... After the next set of fixtures, everyone in our group is going to be on three points because I thought CSK would beat PSV at home, and they did, 3-1. We beat Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg have beat CSK, and PSV have beat us. So that's three points for everyone in the group. So it's like a level playing field. Our next game is CSK away, though, so that is really, really going to be uh, a key fixture. But yeah, Andros Pereira was subbed on. Great vote of confidence there from uh, Lou Van Hal in the 60th minute as well. So he had 30 minutes of Champions League football, which is really, really good. And it shows that Van Hal does rate him as a player. And hopefully we can see him play a little bit more. The downside really was Rooney. Um, he just never seemed to be in step with the rest of the team for a lot of the game, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully he can, uh, I don't know, he can just get in in line with the rest of the team because if he doesn't then he should be dropped for a few games all right let Pereira play there let Herrera play there and Herrera like he gets benched for Rooney primarily because he's in Herrera's number 10 spot which is where he's been best this season so uh yeah let me know what you think I think it's a good match uh, sorry a good game we really did play some of our best football this season but uh, a narrow 2-1 victory I'm not bothered as long as we can um win all three of our home games, I think we'll get through, and I said that in the PSV review, so I'm not uh, worried, I'm excited, hopefully we can make it past the group stages, and uh, far into the competition, so hopefully you have enjoyed, and yeah, peace.